A post chain bridge, be alert! Okay, have no long-term games without no discipline. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lit, the Mastermind. Welcome back to another episode of My Life is Awesome. Now, today what I want to talk to you guys about is how to maximize your gains in this pulse chain and hex equation. Now, we have a very special thing happening. Richard Hart is literally creating two projects that can ping pong success tactics off of themselves. You're going to be able to swap hex for pulse and pulse for hex. And anyone trading on the PRC network is going to need to buy pulse to, for gas to trade anything. This is crucial tactics. These are these billionaires coming together with Overwatch and Richard Hart and all the devs who are crushing out major intelligence factors into this equation. These are really smart dudes who are putting this together. And I'm trying to mastermind this whole situation. I want to understand how I can maximize my profits in this game. And here's what I'm coming up with, y'all. Check this out. When you own a crypto called Hex and you own a crypto called Pulse and they ping pong success tactics off of each other, there has to be a way to play this to your advantage. Now... What do you guys know about getting free stuff? Imagine you are cruising down the road as someone tries to give you a big bag of free food. Not many people would take that from a stranger because you don't know if it's been poisoned or if it's funky or if it's expired or if it's out of date or something weird happened to it. Why are they just hooking you up with free food? Think about that. It's very similar with this crypto game. A lot of people don't understand they're getting a big bag of free stuff. A lot of people don't totally understand it because maybe they don't trust it. Maybe they're like, oh, who would do that? Right? You guys know that feeling? A lot of people aren't really getting it. I want to help you understand what is actually happening. Richard Hart and Overwatch game theory this whole equation. And what they realized is that if they take a hit in the beginning and they give away huge airdrop by copying everybody's coins over to their network and giving it to you free, they're going to benefit in the long run because they're making gas and transaction fees as long as you're trading on their network. So what I think happened is that they had a conversation and they're like, yo, it's the cost of doing business. It's the initial investment. And they're already billionaires. They're already loaded. Look behind Richard Hart. He's got millions of dollars and stuff behind him. You know they got that cash, y'all. So why wouldn't they invest that cash into their business and copy over everyone's tokens into an ERC, everyone's coins from the ERC-20, and maybe the BNB, maybe PancakeSwap's going to fork. I still haven't even figured that out yet. For sure, I don't have final word. Let me know in the comments below, are they going to copy PancakeSwap and all those tokens as well from the BNB network? That would be out of control. An ETH fork and a pancake fork would put so many millions of people on the Pulse Chain network. Pulse Chain will explode. However, Hex is a huge part of this equation. I don't want you guys to un overlook. I don't want you to overlook this. Remember what I asked you? When's the last time someone gave you free stuff like a big bag of food so you can eat it and nourish yourself and get strong and pumped up? That's what's happening here. It's now becoming very clear that it can be trusted. We can trust this delivery of free stuff. So if you trust the delivery, the question becomes, why not buy Hex now? Any dollar you put into Hex right now is going to be duplicated on the Pulse chain. Therefore, you still get your Hex where you bought it. It gets copied by billionaires and put onto another network. Now you have exactly the same on each network. Do you guys understand that? That's essentially like you're super hungry and you buy a pizza and you don't eat it. It's just sitting there hot with all your favorite toppings. You're drooling over it. You're ready to mac that thing down. 
and some billionaire comes up and goes, oh, you like that? Boom. Now, all of a sudden, you got two. They just bought you another one and had it delivered. And there's two hot, steaming, fresh pizzas waiting for you to devour them. Or if you get full on the one, you can sell the other. You can give it away. You can make Christmas for someone and hook them up. Or you can eat cold pizza in the morning and have a whole nother pizza. You guys get it? That doesn't happen all the time. How many of you guys go to the pizza shop and eat your pizza and someone just buys you a fresh one exactly the way you want it, duplicating it? It doesn't happen, y'all. It just doesn't happen. It's super rare. However, that's happening right now. So the question becomes, is the best move in this game right now to buy Hex and stake it? And then you have staked Hex making you money like a bank deposit, paying you dividends regularly. So you're chipping out on that stake. Then you also get the price appreciation from whatever Hex does. You guys follow, you're making, you're getting payments made to you by staking, then you're also benefiting from the price appreciation of Hex. Now, that gets duplicated to the Pulse Chain Network. You now have the ability to stake on Pulse Chain Network or keep it liquid. You guys understand this is multiple ways to make money and it's free. Do you guys get what I'm trying to put at you i'm trying to help you understand any dollar you put into hex is going to get duplicated to the pulse chain network and be free pulse so it'd be epic to sacrifice seriously epic however when we're looking at sacrificing we're not getting that free copy from the erc network onto the prc network the pulse chain network when you buy hex right now and hold it in your private wallet you're actually going to double any of your investment into Pulse. Now, once you have that double, there's different strategies. You can hodl it and just hold on and flex and let it run up gains. Or you can swap it. You can swap it. You're going to have P-Hex. You can swap it for Pulse. If Pulse launches at a really cheap price and you have a ton of P-Hex that shot up in value, you can swap that and there's your pulse stack. So you don't just have to sacrifice to make money in this game. I want you guys to know. You may just buy a hex. You can stake some. You can stake half. You can stake all of it. However, understand that this is going to get duplicated. And you're going to have a chance to make multiple streams of income from this play. Not only that, it's out of control that these billionaires are duplicating these things. Just just think about that. You're literally getting all your tokens and your coins duplicated on another network. I think the reason they're doing that is because they want those transaction fees. If there's millions of people on their network trading, they're going to make millions of dollars very, 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 very quick. Think about that, y'all. It's going to add up exponentially. That's the play, in my opinion. That's the mastermind. Why wouldn't you copy everything over when they're going to be paying you all these coins for transaction fees and gas? It's worth it. The initial investment is worth it. It's similar to like buying a huge property and putting out a thousand little houses on it. And then a thousand people pay you rent every month. Oh my God, my boy lit the fire. He's right. 1,000 renters paying $1,000 a month is a million dollars a month in income coming in. Dude, that's $12 million a year. And you just sit there collecting. And they need to buy the water. They need to drink water. So you charge them for the stream only a little bit. Little transaction fees. All right, you want your water? Give me a dollar. Now, all these people all day long are paying you dollars. Then they're paying you rent. Why? Because they're on your land. Think about it. Once you're on the P Pulse Chain Network, it's like you're on the land paying for stuff. That's the billionaire move. It's like, Imagine if they gave you the house to live on and they said, yep, go ahead, move in free. No deposit. You can walk onto the property, move all your stuff, move your family. However, you're going to pay me rent and you're going to pay for water. Dude, think about that, y'all. That's what these billionaires masterminded. I'm telling you, I cracked the code. I cracked the code to this whole project. That's what they're doing. Not only that, they know with a big bag of pulse and a big bag of hex, you can swap the two and ping pong them off of each other and you can raise price or lower price. You can control the whole market. It's super badass, y'all. If you want to be in control of these coins, 
and have big bags of each one and ping pong success tactics, this is exactly the way you would do it. You wouldn't want to launch a network and have nobody on it. You want to launch a network and have millions of people on it. How do you do that? The way you do that is you give it away for free at first. It's like, imagine you buy a camera from Home Depot and the camera's for security and you put it in your house. The camera costs 50 bucks, okay? What if you could get that camera for free, okay? Just imagine, they give you the camera for free or they charge you so little for the camera, the company barely breaks even. So they're not making money selling the actual camera. But what do they do? They charge you for the subscription. So you can't get the film of a robber breaking your house unless you've paid the subscription fee. Think about that, y'all. That's exactly how it works with security cameras. Go to Home Depot, try to buy a camera, and find out what. Oh, what? There's a subscription fee every month? Why do they do that? I'll tell you why. It's because they're going to make way more money on you if you're paying a monthly subscription every month than they are if you just buy the camera and get to record for free on your Wi-Fi network. It's the same thing, y'all. It's like they're giving you an initial thing at a killer value. However, once you start using that technology, now you have to pay for it every month. That's exactly what they're banking on with this Pulse Chain network. Any trade that's made, you have to use gas. Any trade that's made, you're gonna pay fees on buying that token or that coin. You guys understand? Once you're on the land, you can get there for free. They're copying it over. You're going to get on the PRC for free. It's the same as getting on the land with a house. It's like someone giving you a house and then saying, all right, I own it, but you can live there. You can drink the water you can eat the food, but you got to pay little fees every time you do it. It's the same thing, y'all. Whoever owns that land and has a thousand people on those houses, eating the food, drinking the water, paying these fees, paying the rent, they're going to chip out like crazy that dude's going to end up with all the dollars now i want you to understand a little bit about human psychology who ends up with all the dollars they figured this out y'all i'm going to tell you what's up in psychology they did this study it's called the island study they took a hundred people on a deserted island and they gave each of them one dollar you know what happened within three days i mean it 72 hours within 72 hours 1% of the people to 3%. That means one to three people had all of the dollars. Why? Because they figured out something the people needed and they gave it to them and took their money. And pretty soon, either one person or three people had all of the dollars within a couple days. Think of that psychology. What does that mean? That means not everyone's created equal. We all are created different. That's the beauty of the earth plane. Everyone's created different, so we all think different, and that's how it becomes fun here. If everyone was the same, exactly the same, and everyone's driving around in benzos with the same kind of house and the same kind of car and the same kind of kids, this place would be boring. This place would be so boring if everyone was all cookie cutter, the same, thought the same, acted the same, did the same. What makes the world cool is everyone's super different. We're all at different levels of consciousness and different levels of thinking and different levels of understanding money. The same way goes for Hex and Pulse. Everyone's at different levels of understanding this. So you get these few people who are elite and they're holding all the dollars. Now, Richard Hart and Overwatch are these elite dudes. They're already billionaires. They're already the dudes on the island who have all the dollars and the rest of these people don't. Think about this, y'all. When someone like that creates a project, are they gonna fail? Are they gonna let it get rug pulled and destroy itself? Probably not. They're probably going to build it and build it and build it till it absolutely explodes. That's my thinking, y'all. I'm putting these pieces together and I'm masterminding this whole crypto game. I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours of research into this stuff and it's starting to make a lot of sense. Follow what I'm saying and you're gonna understand exactly where I'm coming from. Now my question becomes, for all you hardcore hexagons, let your boy know, am I hitting the nail on the head? Is the best strategy going forward into this game to stack your hex, even if you're new to hex, 
Stacking hex now means it gets duplicated over to the Pulse Chain network. Once you have those duplicates, you can keep your hex and hodl it, and you can have all your pulse, your P hex right here, which you can trade for pulse. So if you want to stack pulse, it might be best to stack hex and then you get it duplicated and swap that for pulse. You could do that and crush both games. I'm Pulse Chain Bridge, be So there it is, y'all. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I got so much love for my Life is Awesome fam. I hope you guys know that. And tell me something. Tell me if y'all are getting the responses in the comments section. When you comment on my videos and we break through this YouTube beatdown and the comments actually post because a lot of my subs are writing me being like, bro, I'm trying to post on your videos. YouTube won't let me. I've refreshed the page. It doesn't show up. I write it different. It's not letting me post. So I want to know if you're posting on my videos, are you getting the responses or do you have to see the video and scroll down and realize, whoa, he actually responded because I'm responding to all of my life is awesome fam. I'm here to help. I'm here to ping pong success tactics with you guys. That's what's up y'all. So let me know. Are you getting responses from me? on the channel comments. Next, if you've had any benefit from this, show me some love and share this on your socials. I need all the help I can get right now because my little channel is getting beaten down and my links aren't getting shared. That's it, y'all. Help your boy out. I'm here to help you. Let's get this money in this Pulse Chain Hex game because there is a lot of wealth to be had. And I think I'm hitting the nail on the head before this project launches. I think we may be looking at something that's like Bitcoin at a dollar when we see Hex. I'm telling y'all, I'm getting this feeling that this might be one of the best investments you ever make in your whole life. And with the stock market crashing and going to crash, I'm calling it. The stock market's going to tank. We have way too many factors working us against us in the stock market. I think the crypto market might pop. We're looking at a future currency that's going to be mainstream adopted and we're still early. We're still way early in this crypto game. In five years, it's probably going to be way more normal than it is right now. So be proud of yourself if you're here right now and get invested. Don't be afraid to invest in this stuff. Just be smart about what you do it and how you do it. That's all, y'all. We'll talk to you guys soon. So much love for my Life is Awesome fam. Uh, Pulse Chain Army, let's do this. Peace. Hey, bro. Are you serious that buying Hex now is really going to duplicate into P-Hex? And you're right, bro. It is like getting two pizzas for the price of one. Oh, you may be hungry talking about my favorite pizza hot and steaming ready to mac down, though, bro. Yeah, we're hungry for those gains, dude. Where is it? Where's my pulse already? Where's my free Hex? Where is it? Oh my god, it's got to be here somewhere. This pulse chain's going to be off the hook, y'all. Two is always better than one. Trust. Is it? Are you sure? Can I bring my twin sister? Man, that sounds pretty good. Yup, y'all can't handle long term games without no discipline.